सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज अभिज्ञान तिवारी वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एस आई भोपाल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिटर्मेस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अनकवर दिस टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा एंड डिटर्मेस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा ऑल्सो नोन एज डी so my dear students we are going to see this finite automata which is known as acceptor so i will let you know why it is known as acceptor let's try to understand this finite automata okay so this is finite automata so in let's us uh, suppose that this is a machine okay and we have states here what kind of states they are it includes initial state and final state also and let's try to understand this so this will become initial state and what is this this is an machine machine means this is an automata so machine is nothing but this is an automata which will going to take input from here so we will going to give it input in the form of One zero or A B C D whatever be the thing we are going to get give input here and we are going to get output in terms of yes or no. So see, this is an initial state, this is a final state, and you can say these two as an intermediate states. Okay. So whatever the input we are going to give in this machine, the state should be finite. The state should be finite. okay and automata means this machine is going to work automatically by taking some kind of input and it is going to give you output if by reading this whole input and if we reached to this final state here it means this string will be get ac accepted by this machine itself and we are going to get output what this yes and if by taking this input we are not able to we by taking this input if you are not able to reach to this final state somewhere we left here so we are not able to reach to this final state we are going to get what output this is so this string will not going to accept by this machine so we have number of state it should be finite and the machine automatized or this is a machine which will work automatically okay so if this string will be get accepted by this machine we are going to get yes and that's why this machine is known as what acceptor good so it comprises of input tape definitely we are going to take input from the user and it will be reside and this is a input tape where we are going to give input right now we have this 010 that's all and again what we have a reading head definitely through uh, the help of that uh, head we are going to read this input and again we have this finite control finite control is what it is in brain of that machine itself so this finite control is responsible for deciding that after reading an input at which state we are going to move and definitely fa has no memory fa has no memory good so in dfa we are going to get no memory it is having no memory okay now fa reads input string from left to right okay definitely will read will start to read from left to right will move towards this direction okay and definitely we are not going to write on tape itself this is an input tape this is an input tape we we'll see the example so we are not going to write on this one okay this is an input tape we are not going to write on this one and if see what is the meaning of this one if we reached to the final state after reading the string then the what will say that string will be get accepted by that machine okay and definitely the next state always depends on present state and present input at a state what kind of input we are giving to the state it completely depends then only we can transit from a state to another state okay so let us suppose this is an state q and after providing input a we will move towards state p good so 
so there is only one next state for a given present state and a given present input definitely in a state if you are giving a input will have a next state okay so there will be only one next state okay so from for let us suppose let us consider this one in this state q if we provide a input we will move towards p it is not possible right now to give a and move to another state so this will become not possible okay so for b for b if we provide p then it can be okay we can move to other state also so for in a state for a single input we have a single output state that's all so fa accepts regular language type 3 so we have chomsky hierarchy through which we can distinguish different kind of languages for so for different kind of grammar we have different kind of languages and for different kind of languages we have different kind of machines available which is going to accept that language so we have type 3 type 2 type 1 type 2 type 0 so later we are going to see when we'll uh, see that chomsky hierarchy we are going to learn this one why it is known as type 3 okay so right now regular languages are accepted by finite automata okay and definitely fa is also called deterministic why deterministic so deterministic means in a single state for a single kind of input will have a single state itself that's why it is known as deterministic okay finite means number of states are countable that's why it is finite automata means it is going to work automatically by taking the input it is going to give you the desired output and that's all that's why it is known as bfa okay let's try to understand what whatever we learn here so this is a finite control this is the brain which is initially at a state q0 it is clearly visible here state is q0 and it is going to learn this a itself okay after after taking input as an a this a it decides what it decides it decides to move right side okay and the state will become q1 so it changes it changed it its its state from q0 to q1 after learning that a and what right now what is happening it is in a state q1 and it is going to learn b and after taking it, it again changed it, it states from q1 to q2 and at last but not the least it learns that b and after taking as an input this b it reaches to its final state so that is how this is an input tape and this is the reading head and this is what finite control so in a state for a single kind of input we have a single kind of output state that's all okay so we have so uh, formulary dfa can be defined by using this five tuples which is written here so before seeing this one again i am repeating the same thing that is d dfa what is d d is for deterministic and that is what in a state for a single kind of input we have a single output state or intermediate state it can be f is what finite it means number of state will be going to be finite and automata is what automatically it is going to work that machine we are talking about machine so we will have to provide only input and it is going to give us that output in terms of yes and no right now that's all so what are the five tuples so we have q q is a set of states so by using this five tuple we can define a dfa so q is the set of states sigma is the set of input alphabet definitely it is going to be a set and delta del is the what transition function so it is a mapping of set of states with input alphabet it means we'll have to take the cartesian product of that one and it is going to map with what again state so this is a function and that's why in function we are going to give some kind of arguments and that is for input and we are going to get the output so what does it mean actually actually see how we are going to define this is a state and the name of a state is what right now q so by giving an a that's why it is called transition it means we'll have to transit from one state to another state okay so in state q we are going to give input as an a and we are reached to p state 
that is the meaning of this one so this is what q is a state it means it belongs to this q this is what a a is what input and it belongs to this one again this will going to map is what this is q again this p is belongs to this q so this is what the meaning of this one okay so q0 is the initial state definitely and f is going to be the final state so remember that we can have we can have we can have more than one final state okay good so let's see so a string x is said to be accepted by a finite automata m if q0 x x is what here x is a string not a single input we can give a uh, number of alphabets also so that can be a string also so it can be a string of 0 1 0 so we can give a single alphabet that is 0 or we can give 0 1 0 as a string also so, okay so by reading this we can reach to a state also that can be a final state okay so that string x will be what it will be called as an accepted by the machine okay so the language accepted by am am is what machine is denoted by language of that machine so we have used a set builder form so x x is what so by reading some x we can reach to the final state okay then only this x will be called accepted by this machine and this x is what the language of this machine itself okay so let's see this one so del q a equal to p and del q b b p is a valid so let me draw this one logically here so we have q and after reading this a we will move towards where we transit to p okay this is possible okay so from q again by taking in another kind of input that is b we can move to where we can move to p itself so again this is not required so the state is same so we are not going to this we are just going to move this here itself so that is what we have a p state so we are going to take this area directly need not to make an again a same state so this is b and you can write again like this one also this is also valid so for a we have p for b we can have p okay but for a we didn't kind of different states okay so that is how this is true and this is how this is false okay so see let's try to understand this one also the second one so we have this q and for a what we have we have p1 it's good but for same input a we don't have different state so see this is not deterministic for q after reading a where will have to go p1 or p2 and that is how this is called non deterministic so in dfa we are talking about deterministic that's why it is not acceptable okay so uh, we'll see that uh, the pictorial notation that we are going to use for making a transition diagram here itself okay so in transition diagram we are talking about this transition that is del function that is after reading q after a state q after reading a we will move towards p so the notations which we are going to use this this is for initial state a circle and a arrow mark is there see a arrow mark is there so this is for initial state this is a notation for final state we will have two circle and what is this q0 is the name of a state you can write anything what you want but this is a notation that we are going to use okay and this is what transition on input let's we have seen this one this is q is a state after reading this a input will transit to transit to p state okay so more than one input is also possible so these are the different kind of input so for different kind of input we can reach to same state itself this is valid and the transit can be the same in the same state also that is that is a self loop okay so if we'll uh, if we'll have to write the transition function for this one how we are going to write this is del this is what q 
after reading a after reading a we are going to get what state we are going to get same state so this is how we are going to write our transition function for this one okay so so thanks for watching my this video and uh, in my next in my next lecture lecture we are going to see that uh, construction of dfa okay so hope you have enjoyed this video so thanks for that one